Good morning, pre-K and preschool. Here's our third and last story about our buddy, Knuffle Bunny, and his dear friend, Trixie. This is the final book in the series. There are three. Knuffle Bunny Free. Hmm. I wonder what that means. We'll find out. Oh, there's Knuffle Bunny. I love Mo Williams' pictures. He just really draws great ones. So once again, here are all the pictures we see in the front of each one. Trixie's parents getting married, Trixie being born. Trixie is a baby, Trixie with Knuffle Bunny. And then the last one we read was when Trixie and Sonia found out they both had Knuffle Bunnies and they became best friends at preschool. Knuffle Bunny Free. One day, not so long ago, Trixie took a big trip with her family. They were on their way to visit Trixie's Oma and Opa in Holland. Oma and Opa are what a lot of the Dutch call. And actually they use that some in some of the other Scandinavian countries. That means grandma and grandpa. Holland is far away. Yes, it is. It's on the continent of Europe, so you have to fly for a very long time. So that meant taking a taxi to the airport, waiting in line, watching Knuffle Bunny go through that big machine, waiting some more, and finally, getting onto a real airplane. On the plane, Trixie played and read and slept. And before she knew it, the plane had landed. Trixie and her family left the airport and got on a train to go to Oma and Opa's house. They have a big sign there, welcome Trixie. Oma and Opa were so happy to see Trixie. Soon, Oma and Trixie were drinking cold glasses of chocolate milk in the garden. Suddenly, Trixie realized something. That never is a good thing, is it? Trixie didn't tell her daddy that Knuffle Bunny was gone. She didn't have to. <laughs> she just came in, gave him the look. He knew what that meant. <gasps> Trixie's daddy called the airline and asked them to look for Knuffle Bunny on the plane. But the plane had left for China. Hmm. That's another place very far away from Holland and very far away from us. China is very far away, Trixie's face. Oh. Trixie's mommy hugged her and asked her to be brave. Trixie's daddy told the story of when he was a little boy and said goodbye to his special Lambie. Oma gave Trixie another glass of chocolate milk and remarked on how big she was getting. Trixie understood she was getting bigger. Even if she wished she wasn't. The next morning, Trixie tried to enjoy going to the cafe and the swings at the playground and the carnival that was in town. Ooh, look, there's a, Miss Dean loves those Ferris wheels. And while the whole week was filled with fun things like eating french fries on the street and visiting real windmills, and feeding the ducks, Trixie was still sad. She missed her Knuffle Bunny. Oma and Opa understood. Oma and Opa had a plan. That night they had a surprise for Trixie, a brand new top of the line, Funny Bunny Wunny Doll Extreme. Whoops. Oh, 
little sound. It could talk. Hi, I can speakin. It could dance. I can dancein. It has an accent, huh? It could speak in Dutch, but it couldn't make Trixie feel any better. Trixie was sure she wouldn't be able to sleep another night in a strange bed without her knuffle bunny. But before she knew it, she was in dreamland. She dreamed of Knuffle Bunny. She's dreaming all the places he might be. Hmm? Oops. She dreamed of all the children Knuffle Bunny would meet and all the places he would visit. Oh, it looks pretty fun, doesn't it? Looks like he's having a good trip at least in her dream. The next morning, Trixie had a big breakfast. She played with Oma on the playground swings. She even tried a sip of Oma's coffee at the cafe. Hmm. It was a great day. Before she knew it, her trip was over. It was time to go home. Trixie hugged Oma and Opa as hard as she could. Then Trixie and her family got back onto the train and back onto the plane and listened to the crying baby as the plane lifted off. The is But can you believe it? Right there on that very plane, Trixie noticed something. <gasps> Knuffle Bunny! Trixie was so happy to have Knuffle Bunny back in her arms. Happy enough to make a decision. Wah! Trixie turned around and said, Would your baby like my knuffle bunny? Really? asked the baby's mother. Really? said Trixie's daddy. Really? asked Trixie's mommy. Bagly, blagly, asked the baby. Really, said Trixie. She was big enough. The lady was happy. The baby's mother was thankful and Trixie's parents were proud. And the other passengers were very relieved. Yep, stopped crying. He's thrilled. And that is how a few weeks later, Trixie received her very first letter. Hmm. Her parents sent Trixie a letter with a picture of their baby with Knuffle Bunny. Hmm. A note to Trixie. Trixie, I hope to watch you grow up, fall in love, start a family, and be happy. And I hope that one day, Many years from now, you will receive a package from an old pen pal, Love Daddy. So, that is the end of Knuffle Bunny. He's now with somebody new, but there's a hope that if he makes it through the next little person, that maybe if Trixie grows up and has a baby, Knuffle Bunny can come back. And then there'll be a long line of people who have been able to love Knuffle Bunny. I hope you enjoyed all these books.
I think they're super. I love the pictures. I hope you have a great day. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you soon in the library. And we'll read lots more fun books. Bye.